Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. Um, I'm four days away from my surgery and I thought I'd make another video because I'm packing all my stuff and getting everything together um, for surgery day because my best friend in the world, my sister, well she's not my real sister but she's like my sister. We've known each other since sixth grade. Um, she's actually flying out here from Miami and she's gonna be the one taking me to my surgery and picking me up and I'm gonna be, she rented a house and I'm gonna stay with her for the first week just so I could, you know, um, you know, just have someone help take care of me and some space and stuff. Um, yeah, so um, I'm packing everything, so let me show you everything that I have. Okay, so don't mind the bed. This is my nephew's bed, so it's a mess. But I have extra pillows. I have more pillows than those, but I just thought I'd show you pillows. I have two more sets. And then I have this little upright pillow, you know, so I could help have a support since I'm not going to be able to lay straight. I have a neck pillow since I'm going to have to sleep sitting up. I have my pill organizer for all these pills. One, two, three, four, five. My antibiotics, my um, painkillers, my patch for behind my ear, the nausea medicine. And then I also have these super cleanse. These are super good, like, to cleanse your body, like, so you don't have a poop problem. Because I heard, you know, you don't want to be pushing. Um, some Tums, just in case I get heartburn. Cough drops, because everyone keeps saying that you get a sore throat or, like, it hurts like hell to cough. So, I just wanted some cough drops to help me out with that issue. I have gloves. I have a brand new box, but I just wanted to show you. I have gloves. Um, the box ripped, but all these are alcohol prep pads. I don't know why it's blurry. Oh, there we go. Um, alcohol prep pads. A bunch of those. These, um, just in case I'm not going to be able to get up and brush my teeth every day. I have a couple of these. And then I have picks because I love to floss my teeth. I have this little mask. I saw it at the dollar store and I was like, oh, this should be nice just to kind of treat myself if I'm feeling icky. And then I have hand sanitizer. And this is a little lanyard that I have from my work badge was on it. And so I could clip my drains to this and just whenever I'm taking a shower, I could just put this around my neck um, for the drains. My little toothbrush toothpaste and here's the other pack of gloves I have some more triple antibiotic ointment um what else I have a thermometer this I bought this for my baby for when I start potty training him um it's a multi-use pad so just in, so just in, I don't want to mess up the sheets or the bed or anything I'll just put this down and it's washable and then I have gauze the panty liners for um, my incision, hand sanitizer, um, something to just make the room kind of smell good. Uh, let's see. This hot compress because I heard that, you know, my back is going to be killing me and the cramps hurt like crazy. So I have this and it comes with a little wrap to keep it in place. Lala. Yes. And that's Ethan. Say hi. <laughs> and then I have a little heat wrap. Well, two heat wraps. Nah. And then some lotion. But I'm not going to be putting this on my incision. And then also my little suitcase. And then I bought this little garment thing. I'm going to see how it works. Because my surgeon, he doesn't like to use garments. But I just bought it because it seems like everybody who got a tummy tuck is using one, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it. And then I have this little jacket that zips up so I won't have to worry about having to pull stuff over my head and lift my arms up. 
And then I also have this binder from when I gave birth to Ethan. I didn't have a C-section, but they gave this to me anyways just because I wanted to keep my stomach tight. And then I also have this, um, we call it a faja, so just in case after. And then my feet get really cold, so I have these hospital socks. And over here, I have this cute little shower caddy thing that was on clearance at Target. And I have some saltine crackers. What else? Apples and cinnamon little candle, just so I could, you know, set the mood right, so I could be in a good space. Little mouthwash, some tape for my, you know, incisions, and then some wet cleansing towels for my face, just in case I'm not able to actually get up and go wash my face. What else? Um, some smooth sensation lotion. I love lotion, and this smells really, really good. It smells really good. Some chapstick, so my lips won't be chapped. More little panty liners. These were 89 cents at Target, so I was like, heck yeah. And it's for 20 of them, I believe. And then I have these because people say that the cotton ball, the cotton balls that they're too um linty and so they said that these are better for cleaning the incisions they were a dollar at target and then i have some hydrogen peroxide and then i got some i didn't get dial but i got the up and up brand but it's antibacterial body wash and then more crackers and i also have um let's see what else do i have okay so um i also have water and applesauce and oatmeal um and a bunch of like chicken noodle soups cream of chicken soup um vegetable broth soup i have that already um packed up um because i guess I don't think I'm gonna really want to be eating heavy meals afterwards because everyone says that it's so tight and it's you get really like to be bloated hurts like heck so I'm gonna try to you know keep it on like a liquidy diet um what else oh I also bought uh, multivitamins but I bought the B complex with vitamin C um, because I heard vitamin E uh, thins your blood and the doctor doesn't want me to take any vitamin E. So I just got the B complex, which is B6, B12, and with vitamin C just to help promote good healing and just the nutrients that my body needs so I could recover good. And then the day of surgery, I'm also going to get, I hope I pronounce this right, Arnica Forte. I think that's how you pronounce it um but basically it's a supplement that i'm getting um from my doctor's office you can order them online but it's cheaper from my doctor's office um and it's basically like a supplement to help with the bruising and the swelling and just the recovery just helps speed up the whole process so i also am getting that um what else I'm pretty nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I the day before yesterday is when it really hit me. Like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Um, I had read a blog. I forgot what blog it was, but if I would have read that a, probably a couple months ago, I don't think I would have went through with this. Cause she just went in on, I guess, basically all the stuff that people don't tell you and just how much painful it is and how painful it is to even just go pee and the process that it takes to sit down and go pee like oh my gosh and I don't really have that much help like I don't really have someone to be with me every single day 24 hours luckily you know my friend is she's gonna be with me um for the first day but the rest of the week she's gonna be in and out because she has you know stuff she has to do so I don't know I'm hoping that I could do it and I'm hoping that I don't really need that much help 
but uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, so four days away. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna finish packing all this stuff and I will talk to you later. Also, I just wanna add a disclaimer that sorry, my hair is a hot mess. It is super humid and disgusting out here in California and it is just too hot to try to strain my hair and yeah this is just what it is sorry for people if anybody wants to talk shit about my hair but whatever it's a mess I don't care it's probably gonna look worse after surgery so whatever it is what it is okay bye